Bob Jones University got off to a good start early when Marshall Riddle hits a three to open up the game. And then on the team's next possession, Quez Fisher hits the layup to put them up five to two. Then the Nighthawks started to get something going. Juan Rivas hits the three to tie the game at 14. And then Tyler Domney hits the floater to give the Nighthawks a 16-14 lead. On the next possession, Denzel Hosh hits a three to make the lead 19 to 14. And then after the rebound by Domini, he takes it all the way to cap off a 10-0 run for the Nighthawks. Then the Nighthawks went on another run. Trailing 23-21, Juan Rivas finds Duke Robinson who hits a tough layup. And then Robinson picks up a steal on the next possession, puts together a nice move and finds Ebo Smith in the corner for three. On the Bruins next possession, Robinson comes up with another steal. This time he takes it down the floor and finds Rod English in the corner who hits another three, giving the Nighthawks eight straight points. But the run didn't end there. Shaquan Cantrell comes up with a rebound and throws it up ahead to Ebo Smith for the fast break layup. We'll take another look at that one in slow motion. Ebo Smith was tied with two other Nighthawks for the team high 18 points. Then Tyler Domini kept the run going when he penetrated and hit an eight foot jumper. Then Sean Brennan hit a layup in transition to cap off a 15-0 Nighthawks run. Later in the first half, Shaquan Cantrell picked up the rebound and took it the length of the floor, missed the layup, but Ebo Smith was there to clean up the offensive glass. Following a made bucket, Tyler Domini took out of bounds and hit Ephraim Shimonga on a fast break layup, giving the Nighthawks a 49-29 lead to close out the first half. The Nighthawks cruised in the second half, outscoring Bob Jones University 44-35. Senior point guard Sean Brennan had 18 points and 5 assists, while Ebo Smith and Tyler Domney also recorded 18 points. The Nighthawks ended up winning this ballgame by a final score of 93-64 to move to 2-1 on the season. What are your overall thoughts here, team's performance tonight? Uh, we, we moved the ball well. We really defended well, too, and that, that definitely helped with the win. Helping with 64 points, that, that was big defensively. And how do you think you guys can build on this win moving forward? Uh, definitely defensively, like I said, just continuing to build on that, rebounding and playing together. I think that will carry us pretty far. All right, I appreciate it, man. Right, appreciate it. That was a good win for you guys. What were your overall thoughts on your team's performance tonight? Well, obviously, first half we got out to a big lead. Uh, scared us a little bit. You know, they had cut it down to eight on us. I didn't think we played with the same intensity at times in the second half. But then we went on a run and kind of built the lead back up. So really pleased with how we played defensively. I mean, uh, 64 points is, is pretty good. Looking here, uh, we held them to 39% from the field. So yeah, that, that's uh, really pleased with that. And our defense created some offense for us as well. And how does it feel bouncing back from a, from a heartbreaking win last week? Yeah, well, you know, I told our guys at halftime, we were up 17 points both the games over the weekend and lost the second one. So I said, you know, we've been here before. We got to make sure we close this thing out. It scared me a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to see us be able to finish with that. And what do you think your team can learn from, and how can they build off this victory? Um, well, I mean, you can learn from everything. I think just learning. We can't have any letdowns. We can't have any lulls in intensity at any time, and we're we're, we're getting there with that. Less today than we had Saturday, so we keep building on that. We're going to be fine. All right. Thanks, coach. Good win.